Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katerina and I'm an English teacher from Canada. It's a beautiful, sunny and, you know, relatively warm day for being in the middle of December. Today I am bringing you along for a useful everyday English kind of lesson. Today I am running an errand. Come with me to the store and learn what is an errand and what are some different examples of it that we can use in our everyday lives. All right, let's go. What is an errand? An errand is a task that you need to complete outside of your home. It can be any task with a specific purpose, like to buy, collect, or deliver something. An errand is a noun. It is commonly used with the verb to run. To run an errand basically means to go on or to complete some small tasks. Today I am going shopping and I need to buy a couple of things for the house, so I've got my reusable bag. I have arrived at the store. I have grabbed a shopping basket and let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Oh, hello there. Let's review. An errand is a noun. It's a task completed outside of your home. It is an activity that involves going to a specific place to accomplish a goal. To run an errand is a common phrase used to describe the act of going on a short trip to complete some necessary tasks. Conjugate to run in any of the verb tenses. For example, use the present simple to talk about your weekly routine. On Saturdays, I clean the house, run errands, and cook. Use present continuous to describe what you're doing now. I'm running some errands, what's up? Use future continuous to talk about a planned future task. What are you doing this weekend? On Sunday, I will be running some errands. That's about it. Can you use a different verb? Yes, but be careful. To run an errand is an idiomatic phrase. Do not replace the verb run with other words of similar meaning. For example, jog or sprint. In this phrase, to run means to do or to complete. Here are some alternatives. Finish, attend to, or complete. I have come to the store to buy some cleaning supplies. I am browsing the shelves for cleaning products. Here are some cleaning cloths. Here is a variety of dish soap. I will try this green one, maybe green apple. Next, I am looking for some things for the kitchen. I am looking for parchment paper. I use parchment paper for baking. I am reading the ingredients list on this cleaning product. Hmm, maybe I'll try it. Should I get something for Marshall? Maybe not today. I am also looking for some art supplies. The word supplies is great to describe materials for a specific purpose. For example, camping supplies. I am getting a few canvases. I have run out of blue and yellow paint. It means I have no more. So I am picking up some blue and yellow paint. Right now is December, so there are a lot of holiday decorations. I couldn't help but browse the shelves with all of the beautiful decorations. This is actually quite nice. What do you think? Should I get it? What are some different examples of errands? One, 
going shopping. This is a very common errand. For example, at the grocery store to buy food, at the pet supply store for pet food or toys, or the clothing store. Two, going to the post office. Here you can attend to your mail. For example, a letter or a parcel. You can pick up or drop off your mail. These are very useful phrasal verbs. Pick up is to take something. Drop off is to give something. Three, going to the pharmacy. Here you can talk to a pharmacist and pick up your prescription medication. Prescription means you got a special note from your doctor to get this medication. Four, going to the dry cleaners. The attendant at the dry cleaners will clean your clothing or other items. Again, you can pick up or drop off your dry cleaning. Five, going to a tailor. A tailor is a person who makes alterations or changes to clothing. For example, they can make your pants or dress a little bit shorter. Six, going to the library. Here you can go to borrow or to return materials such as books, movies, magazines, and so on. To borrow means to take from the library for a temporary time. And to return is to give back to the library what you borrowed. Seven, going to the bank. Going to the bank is a common errand and if the lineups weren't so long, maybe it wouldn't be such a pain. Here you can withdraw cash, deposit a check, or pay a bill. Thank you so much for coming with me to run some errands. If you enjoyed this English lesson, subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new video. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!